Well, I guess just means I've been doing this a long time. Uh, I'm glad they don't put up the number of losses. Um, but honestly, it's just uh, it just feels really rewarding, and and I feel very fortunate to be able to be in a position that I'm in and influence and work with young women that love volleyball as much as I do and love to, you know, sacrifice and give to our program. And I, I, so I really reflect back on all my former players and current players. There's probably 200, 250 of them that, that just gave us everything all the time. And, and I, I truly am grateful for them and to have the good, luck, the good fortune of being in a position like this. Yeah, I mean, I'll never forget the 500th win, that's for sure, for a and it was, it was a battle and a half, just like I guess it should be. You know, the, we were on the road to uh, against a team that had not had a lot of success um, lately, yet have some, some really nice talents, some good coaches, and we had to really settle in. They came at us mostly with their serving, and uh, they changed their lineup a tad bit, had a player that had been out, <clears throat> one of their older players had been out with some knee pain, I think, and came back and and uh, played against us, and she just was reeling off kills right and left. And I think the team just, uh, we, we never really quit. We just had to find our, we had to find our groove. You know, we were, we were down quite often and had to really f scratch and claw our way back. We were kind of flat, but didn't want to be and couldn't find our way to get back into it. And in the fourth set, um, something just clicked and they just made a decision that, um, we, we know that we're, our passing is getting better. We know our offense, we were hitting 400. I mean, some unbelievable number. We just couldn't, couldn't stop them at the net. They were hitting a very high number as well. And then I think the team just uh, got a lot of confidence. They got a lot of momentum. And once we got a few blocks, you know, Babers and Blake and McGee started getting some blocks. Ipley got a few. That really set the tone like, okay, here we are. We're, we're starting to have success in our defense, in our defense at the net. And I really believe that's kind of very often what gets our team going is getting a couple of really good blocks um, to boost your, boost your belief, boost your, your confidence. And uh, ended up getting the set in five. It was just a, a really rewarding feeling. They bring a really, really strong team. They bring a very balanced team. Offensively, they may be one of the toughest to stop. It's not just one hitter or two hitters that you have to really study for. You have to study for four or five. Um, they all have shots they prefer at different times. And you, your players have to remember this report of uh, this is what's happening, this is what she likes to do, I need to be here. And it happens really fast. Um, or you're, you're really lessening your chances of having, being able to stop them. We, um, we also have a lot of, of serve-receive um, that we've been getting better at. We have a lot of new serve-receive plays that I think are starting to, to really be faster and more efficient. So uh, if we can get our serve-receive and our blocking uh, down and get our and keep our serving tough at them then I think that's when we're going to have our most success.